Hello there guys, Danny Baby here at Danny Baby TV and welcome back to another tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to add a simple intro of your name and a kind of a simple outro of thanks for watching and uh, make sure you subscribe, that kind of thing on the end of a video. So I'm just going to be using a bit of footage from yesterday's Adventures of Minecraft here. Um, I just thought that that would be a good piece of footage to use. And I'm just going to, no, that, actually I don't need to input anything else. So that's my piece of footage. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we're on the timeline. If it starts like this, click timeline. And make sure you're at the very beginning. You can do that by clicking this button here, go to start. And it will start you at the beginning. So, the next thing that you need to do is click insert CJ clip text. Now, that is just to put a simple text on. Okay. So let's just do that. So this is this is a choice of fonts. The one that I normally do when I'm doing like an overlay kind of thing in my videos is that one. You might recognise that kind of font on my videos. And you may recognise just find that one. You may recognise that as the as the as the um, channel font logo thing. So I'm just gonna pick a random one um, let's just pick that one and let's just type uh, no Danny Baby TV so now we'll have if we just you can see these red guidelines that's obviously the middle we will just drag that along and make it bigger then use the little this little thing here which is kind of like a minecraft pointer to Centerize it. Okay, so now this is what the video looks like. Now it just finishes and it doesn't look very, very good really. So we're just going to do the same that we did last time, but instead of do the thing where we do this to do something, we're going to just click on the thing. This should open up. It'll probably have the properties. You can change the duration here, so that's five seconds, as you can see. You can just click animation. In the probably end of the probably start like that maybe. Click in animation. Gallery. Then I'm just gonna choose type. Click OK. And then that's that bit done. Click out animation, gallery, and then let's just pick um explode. 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 And there's different options as well, just like there was on the other. So now when we watch this, that's what it looks like. And as you probably know from my intro, if you've watched lots of my videos, um, that, that explodey effect, that explodey there, that's what I have on the Danny Baby TV in the middle. So once you've done that, if you want to put that on a background, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to click on this and just click and drag it up so it's on the overlay track. Okay, now at the minute that hasn't made any difference, but if we just click in here on the empty space on the video track and go to the start, then click insert, CG clip, background, you'll see that you've got a background there. Now, if you look over here you'll see this fill thing, click on fill, and you can type the number I think, and there's loads of different colours. I'm just going to pick a bright green just for this one, just to make it quite simple. And then let's just put a little mini fade on that. So, so that that's just a little bit of a thing. If you want to put music onto that, just add it onto the music track and trim it here. Um, obviously, don't use copyright music. That would be just stupid. Honestly, that would just be ridiculous. <clears throat> so, um, once you've once you've um, got this, what you want to do is you want to go back to media and just drag on your piece of footage. And then with that, you probably just want to do what you did last. You just want to do what you did last week. Put a fade on the beginning, click on that button for the volume, 
click here, put the volume up, how it's fading, um, go to, just, I'm just zooming out there with my scroll mouse. If you don't have a scroll mouse, you can just use this button here. Uh, going along to the end of that piece of footage, just scroll in. Is it in And then I'm just going to add a little crossfade. And obviously that ends a bit suddenly, but that's just one piece of the footage from last episode. Best adventures of Minecraft here. So now, if you watch it from the beginning, and by the way, I'm just pressing the space to play and pause the video. Hello, guys, Danny Baby here, Danny Baby TV. Is it embarrassing that I don't have help? Okay, so you don't want your video to just kind of end. You know what I mean? It kind of ends really suddenly. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm just going to add another little background. So if we click... <coughs> Sorry about that. Click insert and then background. And then just go into properties. Change the fill. Let's just set it as orange. Oh, let's just get rid of that HP support assistant thing. Because that, that's annoying. And I hate it. So I'm just going to change this to 10 seconds, so if we go up here, and you could just use this, click, drag, to make it longer. But that's not very precise. So what we're going to do is we're just going to um, go up here, get rid of the 6, and type 10, or oh, well, that'll be 5. And then on this bit, make sure that that's, oh, hang on, make sure that that's set to 0, 0 frames. Now that's going to last 10 seconds. So if we just put a little fade on that, and a fade off that, um, we can just we can just we just have that. Now we we'll want to have a bit of text on top of that. So if you fight if you scroll in and just find the bit where that where that uh where that starts. Um maybe let's just go with that. And then go here, insert, CG clip, text. Now the reason that I'm doing text is caption lasts the whole length of the video. And then let's just pick, let's choose that one because that looks quite good on that colour. Then click properties, change that 5 to 10, click enter. Go, go, go into the thing a little bit. And then what you can do is you can just start typing. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, why not? Uh, not. How do you spell leave? Leave that a a like and a fav favorite. Plus, comma, uh, remember to subscribe for more content. Uh, there we go. So once you've typed your thing you can just uh you can just put you don't have to do the uh, you don't have to do the you don't have to do that what I did before with the with the animation. You can just make a little fade. And I'm just using this line here to make it the same length as that one. About anyway. And then Now obviously I have music in my videos on the intro and outro, but you don't have to worry about that yet. I'll probably talk about that in a later episode. So that's probably going to be it for this episode. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope that you find this useful in creating your own videos, um, whether it be Minecraft or any other gameplay. Um, so that's um, it's just a bit of an... Uh, a bit of thing that you can do just to make your videos that little bit more professional. Next time I'm going to be um, talking about. I'm not actually sure to be completely, to be completely honest, but I think that I'm going to be talking about um, adding a watermark to your videos, and that's something that I'm going to be starting doing very soon as well. 
um, just so that if someone downloads the video from YouTube using the technique that I have shown you in an earlier tutorial and then uploads the video to their channel with that watermark on it will um they they they'll probably get a copyright violation. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, then a like is appreciated. If you really enjoyed it, give us a favour and remember to subscribe for more gaming tutorials just like this one and vlogs. Thanks for watching. Bye.